It is uh, another sad day yeah. uh, for some Americans. They're dealing with the worst tragedy ever. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for waking up with us, everybody. We start with that breaking news straight out of Hawaii this morning. Deadly wildfires racing across the big island and Maui this morning. Maui happens to be my favorite island in Hawaii. Out of all of them, I've been to them all. Uh, it's a very friendly island, and there is so much history. What we're seeing is eerie. Uh, apocalyptic is one word being used to describe this. So much smoke, houses burned to the ground. Uh, you don't usually see fires like this on the Hawaiian mm -hmm. Islands at all, uh, destroying many homes, businesses, and again, landmarks for the native Hawaiian community there, uh, forcing residents and tourists to escape, some jumping into the ocean to try to get away from that fire. Uh, this map shows you exactly where uh, those wind-whipped fires have been burning. A Maui County officials say at least 36 people have died. Hundreds of homes and businesses, again, completely obliterated. Uh, the entire town of Lahaina, which historically was the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, uh, destroyed by the flames. The images of the devastation are simply heartbreaking. Hospitals there overwhelmed. Uh, residents and tourists, as we mentioned, uh, really in shock because I mean, they couldn't have predicted this. Cell service has been down, flights canceled, uh, people are having to sleep at shelters in the airport, uh, and a lot of them trying to just help their neighbors. Nick is here with the very latest for us. Nick. And unfortunately, AB officials are not sure that the worst of it is over. They're trying to get as many people out of harm's way as possible this morning. Both Southwest and Hawaiian Airlines are running evacuation flights between Maui and Honolulu. Officials say they don't know what started the fire, but they say dry conditions coupled with low humidity and high winds brought on by Hurricane Dora created the perfect storm. I was the last one off the dock when the firestorm came through the banyan tree and took everything with it. And I just ran out to the beach. Dustin Johnson recounting the harrowing moment when a raging inferno tore through the historic town of Lahaina. If anybody's still out here, it's time to go! Turning the idyllic vacation spot into what some describe as a war zone. We just saw a huge cloud of smoke and our tour driver, or our tour guide, he didn't know what to do, so we were like approaching it, and then we started to get an Amber Alert to saying to evacuate. Newlyweds Jolie and Connor Campbell had to cut their honeymoon short after thick black plumes of smoke began to engulf the island. We're happy to be okay and been praying all night for people to be safe. The situation so dire, some even jumping into the ocean in a desperate attempt to escape the blaze. We couldn't even look behind us because it was the wind was burning us, so we had to go underwater, but the water was pulling us. And so, like, we had fire falling down, we are trying to hold on, and then Coast Guard showed up, and it was just like, oh, yeah. we were screaming, help, help. Officials reporting multiple deaths and injuries. Several people remain unaccounted for. Hospitals in the area overwhelmed by the influx of patients, turning to emergency services in neighboring Honolulu to help treat burn victims. And emergency shelters have been set up for those displaced by the massive fire. This is not a safe place to be. As firefighters struggled to get the wildfires under control, 911 services were knocked out. Thousands trapped without power and homes destroyed, many burnt to the ground. This was a home. There's their car. The full extent of the damage may not be known for weeks or even months. Entire towns decimated, lives lost. The focus now to save what is left of this island paradise. Anytime there's a disaster, anytime there's um, uh, things like this that happen to our community, that shake our community, it's the community and it's our families and it's our people, it's our ohana that help each other and this is the time we need help. Adrian Markey, President Biden has offered his condolences to the families who have lost loved ones, his administration pledging federal assistance to help with the search and rescue evacuation efforts continue as the fire rages in the area. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.